we're going to figure out if this is less than or equal to 4. And in this problem, I can't just use my zero property, zero product property right away, because it's not equal to zero, it's equal to 4. So I'm going to have to multiply this out, subtract the 4, and then go from there. So x times x is x squared. There's a 5x. There's a 2x. 5 times 2 is 10. That's less than or equal to 4. I'm going to combine up some like terms here. So x squared plus 7x plus 10 is less than or equal to 4. Uh, subtract 4. x squared plus 7x plus 6 plus than or equal to 0. Try and factor this. Things that multiply to 6 add to 7 are 6 and 1. x plus 6 times x plus 1. So it looks like my right, boundaries are at negative 6 and negative 1. So negative 6 is here. Negative 1 is here. It can be equal to, so those can be equal to that. And I'm just going to test some regions. Let's see, 0 is about here, so I'm going to test it. Uh, 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 2 is 2. 10 is not less than 4. 0 doesn't work. So it must be in between these two, which means that negative 6 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to negative 1.